Welcome to the Telegraph Studios. I'm Louise People, and today we're discussing the evolution of the cloud. I'm joined by Orlando Beta, CEO of Amuco. So Orlando, Amuco is an unusual name. What's it standing for? So Amuco is a word in Aboriginal language that means prosperity and gold. So the idea is we convert business challenges into prosperity and gold for our clients. Okay, we'll get to the gold in a minute. <laughs> but in the meantime, there are challenges, there are critical um, issues we need to deal with as a company. What are those? So basically, in today's world, technology is transforming businesses so quickly. But there is also a misconception of seeing technology as an expense. So you mentioned the misconceptions. Can you elaborate? So in the misconception is business in the past they, use, they used to have technology, for example, like the media. They used to have uh, printing machines, and they see uh, the technology they invest there is to print, and they needed to have the cheaper cost to be able to produce the printing at a better price and have the profit. But in today's world, with streaming and video, uh, the business have evolved. Now you need to invest in technology to have new audience globally. So Orlando, you mentioned the three most important changes. Can you give me an example? So do you know Netflix? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. So you know that the Netflix revolutionized the world of video. Because before Netflix, you used to have DVD mm -hmm. or some kind of set of box video on demand. Before that, you used to have VHAs. And before that, you used to go to the cinema. And 30 years ago, you used to go to the theater. So if you see from 35 years to 10 years, then to five years yes. to DVD, and then now from two years from there. So it's the changing the, very fast. Yeah, it's changing very fast. Now, if you're a company like Netflix, you need to provide a service that is cost efficient for your clients. So before, because the infrastructure you need to have is so large to provide video on demand or the theater or the DVD, the transportation, you couldn't, you couldn't, you were not able to provide the right service for the right cost. But look at Netflix. For $9.99, they give you access to many movies that you can watch anytime you want. And you don't need to download it or put it in your DVD. It's instant. And they need to provide it also as a global reach, not only in a region like uh, England, but they need to provide it in Ireland, in France, in Russia, everywhere. Okay, now going back to the earlier example, Omuko has a journey from, from problem to solution. Can, can you talk us through that? Yes, correct. So what we do is we understand the industries of our customers, where they're going, what changes the industry is having, and we understand and analyze the, the, the business challenges of that mm -hmm. company. And then we come back with them and we propose a strategy of how we'll overcome those challenges with technology. Now, what makes Omuco different and unique to other companies out there? So we actually are an innovative company mm -hmm. with people with integrity. And what we care is we care about our customers and the industry and the business challenge. We don't try to sell them a product that do certain things and they have to adapt to it. We actually try to grow their business with the business challenge they have. So is this a bespoke service? Uh, correct. We try to do what is right for your business. Now, you have a relationship and a partnership with HP and Helion Cloud. Can you explain this further for me? So, so perfect. Do you know a Star Alliance of One World? Yes. Okay. So that's an alliance between airlines mm -hmm. to transport passengers between them. We're trying to create a cloud that allow the same concept of airlines into technology. So we can provide global reach to our clients with the same service level agreement across organization through many partners. And we build that platform with HP. Now, that all sounds exciting and promising, but a lot of businesses are still very wary of using the cloud. They're worried about security. Well, you can always be secure. You can always have security with cloud as long as it's a private cloud, right? So it's a private, it's not contained in a cage, it's great. Now, the, the, the problem you have and the challenge you have is when you run out of space and you need to spend quickly, then you go to the public cloud that give you many flexibility, but there is a lot of security that you need yes. to have there. So some companies try to create a hybrid cloud in which you use private and public, but create a big complexity in governance and procedures to use both. So what we did is say, because of most of the companies out there build the public cloud and then they try to create a private, that didn't work out that well. 
So what we did is we innovate and we create one solution that provide public and private so that it's flexible and secure with high security, which we can guarantee to our customers. So therefore, why do so many companies have problems when it comes to, to, to breaches? So, okay, that's a very reasonable question. So when you don't have the processes and the governance to, to explain to your clients what measures you need to do to guarantee that security, then you're going to be hacked. So mm. they, don't, they haven't done this many times, and they don't have the structure and the guidance to protect themselves and their customers. So because we create our cloud to be public and private in one solution, we minimize the complexity in the governance and processes to help our clients minimize that work. So what's the actual future? The future is five years from now or three years, any time in between, um, you're going to have a product and that product will communicate via simple text in a secure manner to the infrastructure you have. So you don't have to worry about whether it's a, a private cloud, a public cloud. It will be just a text to connect to that mm -hmm. platform. That's what's next. That's what's coming through for us. Yeah, that's exactly a, a big change in the industry is, is about to occur. Some exciting times ahead. Thank you for your time, Thank Orlando. You for your time.